Guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be installing Lineage OS 15.1 on our MI1. Well, those who don't have any idea of what LOS 15.1 is, in quick answer, it's a custom ROM. And this custom ROM will now allow our MI1 to be running the latest version of Android, which would be 8.1.0, which I seriously don't know why Xiaomi or the Google who actually provides the updates for our T-Sort just didn't give us. But finally, with the help of the popular developer known as Abhishek Agarwal, who also developed Treble for Redmi Note 4, has also made this Lineage OS 15.1 for our device. So let's just take a look. As our phone already runs stock Android, there is not a lot of changes over here, but I would just run through normal things which are added over the stock Android that we already get. For example, these new icons. These don't look as stock as before, as you can see. Lineage OS 15 has a bit of a tweak. Then again, this is the normal trace budget launcher where you can customize a whole lot of things. If you go to home screen settings, you can adjust grid size, icon pack, going into more. You will get tons of options such as editing the icons, then again, rotation of the launcher, feed integration, just a lot of things which could be useful in your day-to-day -day life. Then again, in terms of apps, you don't get a bunch of stuff, but you do get normal things such as camera, recorder, audio effects. Audio effects is a very great audio equalizer. Then you have the recorder where you can record the screen as well as the audio. You have FM radio. Then again, let's just take a look at the camera. So this is a snap camera, but you can also install a MIUI camera, which I will show you later on. If you go here, you have a bunch of stuff such as recording in 4K, picture quality, then adjusting the contrast, sharpness, just the normal stuff that you also get into the stock camera, which is a very nice thing that Xiaomi allows us. But let's just go to the settings. As this is Android 8.1, you get a newer search settings and then pretty much bunch of the stuff is just the same. Going to the sound, of course, you can control a variety of volume settings, but you can also unlink ring and notification volumes. Then again, you can set custom charging sounds too. Go into the display, advanced, as this is LOS 15, you get a newer tab called style, where you can adjust the UI pretty much the way you want. For example, if you go to style, you can adjust it for the wallpaper, time of the day, which is new for Android, and then light and dark. Well, for example, if you want dark, it turns completely dark. As you can see, matches my black MI A1. You can set it for auto, then accent colors, you have a bunch of them. Let's just select for pixel 2. And then you have auto magic. Well, auto magic just picks everything for you. If you hit apply, as you can see, my UI is now white. Also, the accent color is now orange cause there is a bunch of red and yellow over here. But as this is Android 8.1, it supports wallpaper API. That also means dynamic UI. So if you select any kind of wallpaper, which is extremely dark, for example, there you go. As you can see, the UI itself just turns dark. For example, there is no gradient at the bottom. Also, the launcher is now black. And even the quick settings panel, it's no darker. Also, the quick settings panel is now like 15% transparent, which some of you guys like. Going back, you have also the live display where at that time, you can only control the night light or the color temperature as you call it. But in future, you can control the saturation, contrast, intensity of the colors and all the RGB settings. I hope developer adds it soon. Then again, you get your normal display size, font size, screen saver. Screen down, you have prevent accidental wake up and tap to wake, which doesn't actually work as if right now. That's why there are no off screen gestures too. Going to the battery, you get battery percentage, auto brightness and battery saver and performance. Here you can enable extreme power saving. But as this build gets official, you will also get another toggle for setting the performance. And if you set it on performance, trust me, this wouldn't feel Snapdragon 625. Scrolling down, going to the security and privacy. Both FPC and Godix fingerprint scanners are working. So all the security features do work over here. But as this is Lineage OS, you also get Lineage OS statistics, for example, stat collection, and you can also preview your data. As you can see, you also get a bunch of stuff over here, such as status bar, gestures, buttons. Currently, you can't actually enable a nav bar, but I guess developer will add that soon. Going to the about phone, as you can see, model number MIA1, Android version 8.1.0, the latest that you can get. Then there is the Lineage OS 15.1, and that's pretty much it. Now let's just get to the installation of this ROM. Well, currently almost everything is working, but there are still few of the bugs over here and there. So I highly suggest that once this video is uploaded, just wait one or two weeks, and then you can flash this once it gets stable. So let's just begin. Grab your PC first of all. 
And also I forgot to tell you guys, I was experiencing some kind of touch lag into the latest Android Oreo update, which I didn't like at all. But there is nothing like that into the Lineage OS 15.1. So if you're facing any kind of lag, it's none of existence into the Lineage OS 15.1. But first of all, let's just unlock the bootloader. So you have to just go to about phone and scroll down, find the build number and tap it few times. Once you have done that, go back, go to developer options. And if you're into the Android Oreo, you will find an option called OEM unlock. You have to just enable that and power of your device. That's the newer power menu into the Android 8.1. Once you do this, you have to just hold down power and volume down at the same time. There you go. Once it shows this, you have to just connect your phone to the PC. Then on the PC, you have to download these six files. First one would be the Android ADB setup. You have to just do that. I have already done it, so I'm not going to show you. But once you do that, just restart your PC. Then again, you have to download these five files and just place them on the desktop. After that, I will also give this MIA1 folder. You have to just open it. There would be again some files inside it. You have to just open the CMD EXE and type in fast boot OEM unlock. As you can see, it showed OK. That means our bootloader has been finally unlocked. Then you have to just type in fast boot boot recovery dot IMG. Hit enter. And now our phone will directly boot into the top recovery. You have to not touch literally anything. Now inside the recovery, be sure to back up all of your stuff. Yes, we are wiping our whole internal storage that's actually needed in order to boot Android Oreo right now. So go to wipe, format data, type in yes. Go back, go to advanced wipe and select everything, just not the USB storage or the micro SD card that's not needed. Swipe to wipe, go back, then again connect your phone to the PC. Just go to my computer, then MIA1, internal storage, and just copy all of these four files over here. So I have also made another zip called MIA1 Audio Apps. So I ported the normal camera with the bokeh mode fully working with the help of a developer. And I have also added a wallpaper picker and the normal search launcher from the MIA1. So even if you install this custom ROM, you will have the home-like feel. And then again, we are now going to be installing the full G app. So earlier, if you want the same configuration as me, as I showed you earlier, you have to just flash the Pico G apps which I've been using right now I will use the full G apps in order to replace the normal lineage OS apps too there you go everything has been copied unplug your phone swipe to unlock go to install there you will find the ROM you have to not add in anything over here right now you have to just install the ROM first of all swipe to confirm just ignore these errors it will show if you have installed the latest Oreo update which would be the 8.3.1 it just means nothing you have to just go to home go to reboot select reboot bootloader swipe to reboot once we are into the fast boot again, you have to just repeat the procedure of going into the recovery. Just type in again fast boot boot recovery dot IMG and hit enter. Never show again. Swipe to allow modifications. Just go to install again and then you have to install everything. So first of all, magics. This is needed in order to boot the ROM. Add more zips. Then if you want to install MIA1 Oreo apps, select this, add more zips. And then if you want Google Play Store, which is a must, just select your G apps. Now, as I told you before, I'm going with the full. So it would be the full Google package. Swipe to confirm. Now again, this will take few minutes. It's been finally done. As you can see, all of the files have been completely installed. And then you have to just press reboot system. Do not install and you're basically done. Well, the top recovery would actually get installed on your device as we have not flashed the top installer because that wouldn't let the ROM to be booted, but you do get Lineage OS recovery, which is a fantastic recovery. So for example, in future, when the ROM gets official, you are just completely set. You can directly apply updates, factory data reset, mount the system, and all the stuff that normal recovery does with a better UI. After a few minutes, the phone is finally on. Let's just set it up. Next, next, next. Wi-Fi is currently on, but I don't need it right now. Next, next. If you want to set up your fingerprint, let's just do that quickly. Let's just set it like this. Confirm. The finger is a bit wet, so it might not be perfect. Next, skip, start. Now you will get a variety of launchers if you have installed the full G apps, but we will go with the normal MI1 launcher. And there you go. Let's just get our MIUI camera over here too. And if you have selected my zip too, you will get the full MIA launcher with the wallpaper. So let's just set one of them too. You will get a variety of launchers too. So I guess this one is the MIA11. And there you go. You have the stock wallpapers over here. Let's just select this one. Home screen, lock screen. Now it completely looks stock. So let's just go to the camera too. Allow, 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 allow. You have the MI camera too, fully working with the portrait mode. So for example, if I select portrait mode, click a picture, there you go, it fully works. You also have your 4K recording and your normal photo modes. They also work too. Let's just go to settings quickly. As you can see, you have your lineage OS apps as well as the Google stock apps. Go into the settings, system, about phone. 
Android version 8.1.0 and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this was a quick little video on how you can install Android 8.1 Oreo on your MI1 I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more MI1 videos like this please subscribe down there and see you in the next one peace